Hello artists, we've looked at sculptures by several different artists and now it's your turn to make your own. The sculptures are three dimensional, which means that they have to be interesting to look at from each and every side. Are you ready? Here's what you're gonna need. Some matte board, watercolor paper, watercolors, a marker, some wire, and some beads. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna use the letters in your name. Um, I guess you could use another word if you wanted to, but you're gonna like sketch them out in sort of block-like letters. And then you're gonna watercolor right over top of those. You can use some of the watercolor techniques that we experimented with with our last project. Uh, you could do them in you know all warm colors, and then if you wanted to, you could paint the back maybe in contrasting colors. Um, that's not, not what I'm gonna do, but that is a potential possibility. All right, it's wet, but I'm gonna blow it dry, and then I'm gonna cut out the letters. Now, if there's some interesting shapes that have been created after you've cut the letters out, um, maybe save those. You could work them into your sculpture as well. All right, so I'm cutting out all of the letters and they're gonna form sort of the, the basis of our sculpture, okay? Now I'm gonna outline mine with marker. Kind of wish I did this before I cut it out, but I'll know better for next time. Now, once I have done that, then on the back of mine, I'm gonna create all these different sort of patterns and designs, similar to you know some of the op art things that we've worked with or some Zen doodle type things. Then on the mat board, make sure your name and table code's on the back, and you're gonna start arranging these letters. Now, of course, we want them to stand up, so I find if you fold over the bottom, you can create these little tabs that will help you um, stand the pieces up. So play around with the shapes and, and the letters to figure out how you want to arrange them. And then you're gonna use double-sided tape. Just rip off a little piece, stick it on, and then peel off the paper backing. And then that will stick right to your mat board. And you can sort of bend and twist the letters into interesting shapes. It's up to you how you want to attach them. But just make sure that they're securely attached. All right, again, we take the double-sided tape, take the paper off, and I'm just gonna twist that one back a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna bend that little triangle at the front forward, I think. Okay, so now I sort of play with the other letters. I'm gonna twist these, this S into sort of a little spiral and attach that. And then I can do the same thing with all the other letters. Again, just make sure you've got double-sided tape on both ends. And folding that little tab over at the end really helps to stick pieces down. Uh, the letters can be, uh, you can twirl the paper and curl it. You can put the letters upside down, entirely up to you. I, I like the black and white and the contrast against the soft watercolors. I like that contrast. That's why I chose to do that. But if you wanted to do, say, warm colors on one side and cool colors on the other, that's entirely up to you. Okay, so I've sort of played around with these shapes and figured out where I want to put them. And then once they are all securely attached, it'll be time to add our wire. Just one last piece. I twist the C into a bit of a spiral and attach it on top of the letters. There we go. All right, give that one little curl. And now we're ready for the wires. So I'm using felt and a potter's needle and I'm poking holes into the mat board. If you were trying to do it on the table, it wouldn't work, it wouldn't go through. But with a soft underneath and a soft padding underneath, it pokes through quite easily actually. So I'm just gonna poke some holes in there. Um, you're gonna need two holes for each piece of wire to attach them. All right, so I've got a bead, I've put it on the wire. I'm just giving it a little twist so it doesn't go anywhere. I'm gonna do that a couple more times with this wire. I think it ends up looking a little bit like a tiara. All right, one more bead. And give it a little twist. And then we're just gonna take the ends of that wire and stick it through the holes, one of the holes on your mat board and fold over the end of the wire to sort of hold it in place. Later we'll tape those down, but for now, let's just put them in like that in case we wanna change something. All right, you can also twist the wire around a pencil or a stick to make a little uh, spring-like shape. So I'm gonna do that and put another bead on there. And then I think do a little spiral twist again. All right, poke those into two more holes. And I like the way it's kind of going through the paper part of the sculpture. And one last one, twist. I do like making those little spiral 
spring-like shapes. Almost done. Okay, so I poke those, oops, I don't have holes for these. I'm gonna need to poke some more holes. So I poke two more holes and we are ready to attach those. Now, once you've got them in there, just get some masking tape and tape those uh, wires down so that they don't move anywhere. All right, and there you have it, your mini sculpture. I can't wait to see the ones you create. All right, go forth and be brilliant.